Hey guys, Joe here. Thanks for tuning in. It's fall. It's a great time to be in the woods. I've been getting out more and more lately. I'm getting out all the all, the whole summer, but this fall is is supposed to be a, a good one for trips for me. But with that, I've been using my tools a lot. Uh, so I figured it's a good time to do a video about field sharpening for your tools. What I use to sharpen my tools in the woods is a Fall Niven DC4. I've had this same one for probably five years. Uh, it's going strong. So I keep it in this small little uh, pouch that Buddy Kyle made for me. I've got my sharpening stone here and my strop here. My strop is just a piece of leather with a um, polishing compound on it. So <clears throat> as far as tools, to cover all the bases, I've got a convex style bushcraft knife. This is a Turley Gasconade made by my buddy Is Turley. Next up is a Mora Bushcraft Black Scandinavian grind. So those are two, the two popular outdoor bushcraft grinds are already covered. And then you've got a convex axe. This is a Grants vs. Brooks um, outdoor axe, which, let's see, I can show you. Someone will, who will, will remain nameless dinged it up a little bit on this last trip. We won't name names. See right here on the toe, it's gone. But that's no big deal. I was also using this axe to strike a fire steel about five minutes ago to start the fire that's in front of me. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, there's the there's the link right there. Go check it out. But uh, yeah, this is about sharpening. So um, she's a little bit rusty. That's no big deal either. I think we'll start with the Turley Gasconade convex knife edge. So my DC4 comes in two pieces. It normally didn't. Normally they were uh, originally. They're stuck together, glued together, but this is a common problem with them. No big deal. They come off. So you've got your diamond side and you've got your ceramic side. Uh, I'm just going to use the ceramic side because the diamond side is a little bit more for... Um, am I in focus? A little bit more for uh, rough stuff, like nicks and stuff like that. So, Turley gas grenades up first. I take the stone, have my... My fingers on the very ends. If you can put them below the stone, it helps just so that you don't get cut. But basically, all I'm doing, I'm taking it, I'm finding the right angle, which you can hear by feel and hear, and it takes a little while, don't get me wrong, it's not something that's going to come to you right away. And I'm just going like that, and I'm lifting as I get to the, t as I get to the tip. You can make slicings slicing motions but as long as you're lifting when you get to the tip all right so I'm lifting my the, the handle up the bottom of the handle up and it's lifting it's pulling the the nose down the tip down and the rest of the blade up and I'm just trying to touch the edge here I'm not trying to reprofile it I'm not trying to do nothing fancy. I'm just touching the edge. And you can hear it. You can hear the sound. So let's feel. She feels sharp. But we always want to do a couple passes on the strop. The reason being, the, the DC4 will leave a, a rougher edge. So when I'm when I'm on the DC4. I'm cutting towards it, to, cutting towards it, like I'm, like almost like I'm trying to shave pieces of the stone off. And then when I'm, when I'm stropping, I'm going the opposite way. I'm bringing it back away from it, and I'm doing the same thing. I'm lifting at the end. You can do it on a piece of wood, but your leg works fine. I haven't touched up this blade in a long time, so let's see how she goes. I don't got any hair on my arms anyway, but. Uh, okay. Let's do my leg. <laughs> so the tip's sharp, middle's sharp, and the bottom's sharp. And I have a bald patch on my leg now. So away goes the Turley Gasconade, the convex. And we'll do the we'll do the axe right now too. The axe is different though. The axe you do I do circular motions. So 
I keep the axe on my leg, especially if it's a smaller axe like this. If it's bigger, it might be a little bit harder. I'm just finding the edge, following the edge. I don't want to go too far this way because I'm going to flatten it out. I don't want to go too far this way because it's not going to do anything. I'm finding the edge, again, keeping your fingers away from it, uh, of the edge of the axe and off the, off the stone, on the underside of the stone, doing circular marks. Again, you can kind of hear it. Flip her around. And I'm not counting, I'm not timing, I'm not doing any of that stuff. Just feel it when it's done. And after you do this, if it's a factory edge, and you chip out a little bit, or you get a little nicks and stuff, after you do this, your edge is going to be so much stronger. It's almost sometimes, I know on those fall niven knives, you almost need to break it, you almost need to, to, to chip it out a little bit or roll the edge just so you can so you can put a stronger edge on it, but not always the case. Again, that side's done. Go back to this side and just smooth it out for a less amount of time, and then go back to this side and smooth it out, and you're probably done. Again, I'm gonna strop, and it's easier to do this with a smaller ax, but the principle is the same for a bigger ax. So I, I've noticed that it's tearing up that a little bit, so it means it's got a burr on this side. Just work the burr down a little bit. The burr is just the metal folding over because you went too hard on the one side or too for too long. All right, let's see if this thing shaves. There you go. Super sharp now. That's sharper than when I got it. Okay, for the Scandi, Scandi's easy because they have a bevel you have to you can follow. So that's it right there. You just follow the bevel. At least that's what you're taught, right? What I like to do is follow the bevel, is find the bevel, and then just lift it up a, a hair. And that's what you're creating a micro bevel. And a lot of purists don't like that, but I don't care. I like a micro bevel on my Scandi knives. It gives them a little bit more strength, makes them sharp. And if you do it enough over time, it'll kind of convex it. Not really, but more so. And scouts off. So you're doing the same thing basically. You're following. You're you're just sharpening all the whole length of the blade. You can do a slice and lift it up at the end if you want. But again, there's the bevel. I just tilt a little tiny bit more. And I'm just making sure I get the whole length of the blade here. Don't be scared, you know what I mean? You're not gonna mess something up so bad it can't be repaired. Don't take a brand new knife out and do this with it. Make sure you use it a bunch first, but. Okay, that's probably done. Oh, she feels stupid sharp. So then we will hit it on the strop again. Just a couple swipes away, again, away, always away on the strop, away from the, the blade. Don't try to cut it. Be careful working on your leg. Okay. Oh my. It wiped the hair off. I'm gonna have zero hair on my legs. <laughs> so that's it guys, that's my field sharpening video. It's super simple, super straightforward. It took me a long time to learn how to sharpen knives and axes because I was scared of ruining the edge. Ruining the edge. Um, just don't be scared, you know what I mean? Just do what you gotta do. Sharpen your axe, sharpen your knife that way, it'll work out for you. So the Fall Niven DC4 is the tool I was using. Again, this is what you would expect to get when you get it, 
just this inside this. The strop does not come with it, the case does not come with it, but you can make your own very easily. The strop is just a piece of leather with a uh, sharpening, uh, sorry, polishing compound on it. And this is just an old pair of BDU pants sewn up into a, a little case. So very handy. It always stays with me inside of my possibles pouch in my backpack. I got stuff like a, a flashlight, all things like that in there. So toilet paper, stuff you don't want to be caught without. I hope this was informative. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Uh, let me know in the comments how you guys sharpen your stuff, if you do. I had a lot of comments on how I sharpen mine, so this is the answer. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon on the next one. Goodbye.